What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to today's video. For almost 50 years, Star Wars has delighted us with weird aliens, such as the gluttonous huts, fierce wookies, lovely Twi'leks, amphibious nautilans, goofy gungans, and many more odd species over the years. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 longest living species, and if you like this kind of video, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more videos like this in the future. Now onto the list. Number 10. It is a tie between the Wookiees and the Fiorin. The tall, arboreal Wookiees of Kashyyyk can live past 400 years old. These hairy mammals are loyal to their friends, but are fierce warriors known for sometimes ripping the arms off people when they are angry. And then the selfish Fiorin of Ordrin, after their homeworld perished, could live to 400 years old. These aliens were quick to anger and immensely impersonal. They valued Fiorin affairs far more than that of any other species. And most other species considered these tentacled terrors to be selfish. Number nine, the Shi'ido. The shapeshifters from Lao Man, Shi'ido, could, as already stated, change their shape to really anything similar to their size. In their natural state, Shi'ido had pale skin, wide mouths, and deep-set eyes. These pale-skinned humanoids could live to half a millennia, or 500 years old. Number eight, Powans. Jedi, what brings you to our remote sanctuary? These gaunt near-humans from Utapau, known also as Utapauans and ancients due to their long lives, coexisted on Utapau with the Utai, the Powan serving as the leaders. Though they looked frightening, they were actually pretty friendly and they could live to be 700 years old. Number seven, Drathos. These fearsome creatures hailed from Drathos. They were quite predatory in nature and possessed telepathy. These guys were very reliant on their traditions, and they were a proud warrior culture who liked to demonstrate their martial prowess in battle or hunting. They could live to be 800 years old. Number six, Yoda's species. Looking found someone you have, I would say. <laughs> this unknown species has a few members, most notably the Grand Master of the Jedi Order during its twilight years. Yoda, this was a short species with the average height being around 70 centimeters or around 2 feet and 3.5 and inches tall. These green skinned, pointy eared aliens could live to be 900. Number 5, Anzati. They were mysterious and force sensitive with two proboscises that extended from their cheeks which allowed them to feed on their prey's brain. They were able to regenerate and use telepathy. These almost vampiric fiends could even strengthen their own force connectivity by feeding on other force users and they could live to be 950 years or more. Number four, the huts. <laughs> The rotund slugs originally came from Varl, but they later adopted Nalhutta as their homeworld. These slugs were commonly into anything and everything dealing with the black market, including slaves, spice, smuggling, and gambling, among other nefarious deeds. They came in many a skin color, such as orange, green, purple, and brown, just to name a few. These slimy gangsters could live to be a full millennium, or a thousand years. And now a few honorable mentions before we to Chukthai, and they could live 300 years or more. Then you have the Silegian, 250 or more, and then the Chevin, which also could live to 250 years or more. Number three, Neti. These were a people of shape-shifting sentient plants from Inner Rim World Mer Merker, though later relocating to the Mid-Rim planet Rick. These plants could be Force-sensitive, like notable Jedi Masters Garnu, Udbrar, Udbanar, and Trasa, 
and even could go to the dark side like Sith librarian Dale Liss. These walking plants could live past 4,000 years. Number two, Gendai. Hailing from an unknown world, these nearly immortal formless beings wore armor to give their boneless bodies a humanoid shape. These guys could regenerate if attacked or even dismembered, including beheaded. They lived up to 7,000 years. And coming in at number one, the croak. This race of sentient, multi-legged beings hailed from Krakul. These little guys could use a force ability known as illusion casting that made them appear larger. In their normal state, they resembled bristly-legged snails, small enough to be held in the palm of a human. These legged snails enjoyed a lifespan of over 20,000 years. And there we have it. The 10, plus a few extra, longest lived alien species in a galaxy far, far away. How many of these have you heard of? Were there any species on this list you thought would be higher? Let me know in the comment section down below. And you can watch a couple alien species videos on the left now. And remember to like and subscribe, and until next time, thank you for watching.